trick only radiation shields can handle is but I hate you should. The beauty of the cosmos unfolds in your planet scans, Pathfinder. But there is more they can do. Do you have something in mind, Doctor? Plans for a school are under... I want to add more. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. <laughs> and Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? I expected something like that. I can handle the pressure. Good to hear. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their vest is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. I'll make it right, Pathfinder. I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start the settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Leg's feeling a little better. Looks like the muscle's bruised. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the Keth. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father, Kirkland. We'll never forget their sacrifice. It's a brave thing, risking your life for the greater good. Yeah, it just seems unfair. We barely got here. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but... Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? 
Doc says I'll live. So this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate, that was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yeah, but still, we lost a Pathfinder on my watch. Doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning in the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! The circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Good to see you. Word is there's been trouble on the station. We're here now. It'll get better. That's what I've been telling people. You're here now. As soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. 
My parents died on the Mindwar colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind, but I have friends here too. I love piloting, but I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know, it's a rose-colored outlook, but... Someone's gotta keep the positivity coming, right? Have to go now. See you later. Later. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain? We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. I wish you were still here. There's so much you could have taught me. You'll do fine. You're off to a good start. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists, but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. Pathfinder. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been.
Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again.
but not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Welcome back, Ryder. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. That's all for now. Of course. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger. Your father's personal logs. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. 
Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Alec. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! I'm certain, Professor. Then, Sam, only four days and months to come. All right, moving no, on. 
Docking clamps. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, no. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed... could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to... Fronts fight, say things, but you don't expect your... To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you... It wasn't my place to agree. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the... And? I want to go... That... It first... Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no... The more... All right. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck.
Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. This file is useless. Let's check another. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. All non-relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power coupling is complete. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Negative match. Negative match. All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Security is on heightened alert. Biometrics do not match. Scan results show a partial positive. Talk. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. 
Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... you'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave and you don't come back. I'll leave. <laughs> I'll make it right, Dad. Keep my experience back. I promise. Looks like the muscle is bruised. The good news is the bone didn't break. I'm sure the bad news gets fast. Back for a visit? That's all, Harry. I'll be... Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it! Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right?
came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. But runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen and keep any specimen safe. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones. Like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Wonder how fast that engine core cool cost is. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. You're
Verifying my connection from Hyperion. Into the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder.